God hears you. 1 Peter 3.12 says, The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are open to their prayers. It's comforting to know that God hears your voice. You know, over the last few months, our family has been slowly getting settled into a house. We're in that process of unpacking and still making it our home. And as we've been unpacking, I found this little device that I'd never set up. It's an Amazon Alexa Echo Dot. It's this small hockey puck shaped smart speaker that responds to voice commands. And it kind of acts like a, a personal assistant to answer questions, play the news or music, and just tons of other stuff. Well, my kids have been the ones using it the most. They play their favorite songs or they tell Alexa, tell me a kid's joke. Well, my little one and a half year old Leo, he's been watching this with great amazement. And he's been doing his best to connect with Alexa. In fact, every morning he'll come into the kitchen and he'll say, a dada, a dada. But sadly, no response. Alexa can't really understand or hear what Leo is saying. Alexa can't make out what Leo is saying, but here's the encouragement from God's word. We can have confidence that God hears us. In fact, in Hebrews chapter four, it says that God can even read the thoughts and the intents of our heart. Listen, God hears you. That's encouraging. But there's one more truth I need to share with you. Don't miss this. In fact, it's the second half of the verse from 1 Peter 3. Look at 1 Peter 3.12 with me again. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are open to their prayers, but the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. You may say, well, what does this mean? Well, King David of the Old Testament, he shares something similar on this in Psalm 66. He says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. You see, the word that David uses, to regard, it carries this idea of being unwilling to confess or forsake, or even to cherish or adore something. You see, ultimately it means to approve of something that God simply does not. And this is what Peter and David are saying. Listen, God has the ability to hear. He's not like Alexa. He doesn't need to be plugged into a power supply, doesn't need for you to speak with perfect clarity to be able to understand your voice, and he doesn't need the latest software update. But you know what he does need? A soft heart, a surrendered life, a life that's plugged into his heart and his will. You see, that's the sweet spot of the Christian life, surrender. When we recognize sin in our hearts, confess and forsake it. Otherwise, the Lord doesn't work on our behalf. See, this morning, I want to encourage you to freshly surrender your heart and your life to Jesus, to confess and forsake sin if need be, and to be encouraged that God, He has the ability to hear your voice.